Evan grew his YouTube channel to 1 million subscribers doing some tips and ticks, uh, tips. <laughs> tips, tricks, and tactics. Those are the three. There you go. And one of the ways he did that was with a position where he strategically placed another option for people to subscribe on his channel. That's what we're gonna talk about here today. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators. This channel is all about helping you grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their life. And it's awesome when you get to a level like Evan, you have over a million subscribers, reaching millions of people every single month, changing their lives. And this is episode number eight of a 10 part series we're doing about all the tips and tricks and tactics and strategies that Evan did to grow his channel to 1 million subscribers. So if you haven't already started episode number one, go click the card you see on your screen and go check that out. But in the meantime, let's talk here about the little extra subscribe button that you added that had a big impact. What yeah, tell us about that. This, this is a little ninja trick that a lot more people are doing now, but when I first did it, I don't know, I didn't see anybody else doing it. Basically, there's that, it's, it's a branded watermark. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Branded watermark? Branding. Brand identity? Yep, branding is what it's called. They it. Anyway, go to, your, go to your back end and you can find it mm -hmm. on what? Branding. Channel? Branding? It's that little square that's at the bottom right. So for every video, there's that little square at the bottom right. And when you hover over it, it allows people the option to subscribe to your channel. That is a powerful call to action that a lot of people are missing. A lot of people, when they create their channel, either put nothing, they don't have anything, or they use their a custom like image, their logo, logo or, or something, something yeah. some branded picture. Mm -hmm. uh, and so a lot of people don't know that they can click on that to subscribe. So what I tested was, I have a look, I have this, this is my logo, right? This is airplane, paper airplane. I had that, that was my logo and it was my branded watermark forever. And then I said, what if I just change it to click now, subscribe? And I made it red. So it was white text, click now, subscribe in my font and then red background. I took up the full square. And when I did that, it had a dramatic increase on the subscribers for my channel. And think about it, the more content you have, that's on every single video automatically rolled out across your channel. So, you know, I had thousands of videos. That's a pretty significant bump. But even mm -hmm. if you only have 15 videos, that will increase the subscriber rate for all your videos and you don't have to go back and edit each one individually. So yeah. there's, there's not a lot that you can do to videos retroactively afterwards. So this is one of the cool ones that you can do to make them better. I would suggest one, making it really easy to see the call to action. So mine says click now subscribe, I think on three different lines. Um, take up the full square. Some people only use uh, half the square or third of the square is really like super tiny font yeah. that people can't see. So it's worth noting that YouTube's official policy on this is that you don't add a subscribe button, although it worked. So, uh, what, and the reason for that is that um, it becomes an inconsistent experience for a casual viewer across different channels. And they're like, oh, this is how I normally subscribe to, a, this is how I subscribe to the last channel. Why isn't it on this one? You know, And so it just kind of creates a little bit. Um, is it against their, their policy though? Uh, I'm not sure if it's against their policy, but I remember that it's, they said, don't do this. Oh. However, so what I did okay. is that I combined the two. So I have my logo there, mm. but as it looks, it's like with a subscribe button, it has like an arrow for like a logo that points to the subscribe button. Mm. And uh, I honestly didn't see a huge uptick because of it. Now I'm not as like overt about it as you got to go more overt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, could, that would make a, a, a difference, I'm sure. Don't get in trouble with YouTube, though. I think the principle here th that you're talking about is just find other ways to make it easy for people to subscribe to your channel. Like you get a URL, that's like a direct link that you can share to your channel that when people click on it, it pops up the subscribe button. Um, there's one below in the description here of this video. You can go check mine out if you'd like and just change the username and you can use that. So if you're putting it on emails or Twitter or any place you're sharing a link, that's the subscribe link you can link to directly. You can consider making like a little lower third animation that a lot of people are doing, just like subscribe, you know, the quick little thing just to remind people because like you guys, like we're all power users here. Like we know subscribe but not everyone is. Yeah. And so just having that little helpful visual, that cue, that reminder can make a big difference between, you know, a hundred subs a day and a thousand subs a day, depending on how many views you're getting, I suppose. <laughs> and the thing with that call that, that that little branded thing is it's on the entire video. Actually right. it's another option. It can be. It doesn't yeah. have to be, right? right? Like it'd only be end of video. You get to mm -hmm. pick where you want it. I have it on the entire video. Mm -hmm. So while in the end card you only have the last fifteen seconds, twenty seconds mm -hmm. to do something with it and you should all have your subscribe, call to action in your end card. But this is on for the entire thing. 
Yeah. So people don't make it all the way to the end. Like by the end of your video, you may only have 15% of the people still right. watching who actually then see that thing. Where this is on from the very beginning when you have 100% audience retention right. and you keep it on throughout the whole thing. And one of the things that you said that I think is often overlooked by creative type of people is you tested this, mm. right? And you actually looked at the data and you're like, for me, no brainer, right? Yeah. But you guys need to test it. Like for me, it didn't make a huge difference. Now I'm not doing the same way, but for you, like you need to test this out and don't just blindly try to do anything that anybody says, even like anywhere, <laughs> but like just test it and, and try it and, and look at your subscribers on your, in your analytics and you can see exactly where people are subscribing from and just see how that number increases or doesn't increase or whatever might be true for you. There's other places you can kind of change some things around on your channel that can also make a difference in how people subscribe to your, your channel. And that's what we're talking about in video number nine, which you see and click on this screen to go watch next. If you haven't started at the beginning, you can also click that to go back to video number one. But let's go on to video number nine right here and talk about some other things I haven't hacked.